Shout out to all the producers, everybody who uploaded beats. But first, I have a king of the beats, producer, beat battle. You know, it, it, it comes to time. Atlanta's such a hotbed for talent that, you know, we're trying to find the next Zaytoven, the next, you know what I'm saying, the next Metro, the next, you know, big producer to make it out um, of the city. And uh, this is our opportunity to give back. You know, like I tell people, it's like, we don't get anything out of this. But, you know, being a DJ and being a personality and also being, you know, some of the producer, uh, you know, I feel like this is an obligation for us to get back. We have so many talented people on our staff, so many people who are, you know, involved in the everyday mechanics of making big records for big people like my guy T. Lewis, uh, official DJ for Lil Wayne. You've been on tour with, with OVO. You make big records. You got song uh, with Michael Montana right now, a big song, man. Introduce yourself to everybody, man. What's happening, man? I'm DJ T. Lewis, man. Mr. Five O'Clock, you can catch me Five O'Clock Monday through Friday in the mix. Yeah, man, producer DJ, single yeah. um, with Michael Montana project. Check out right now, man. Go check it out. And we looking for that sound, man. Who got that sound? Yeah, man. That's what matters. The sound. Who got that sound? Change the trajectory of everything, right? Exactly, now. That's man. That's what we looking for. That's a great statement. And of course, DJ Geronimo. I'm um, here on the radio multiple times a week um, at multiple mixtapes over the years. Uh, remixes, as a matter of fact, you're working on a couple of remixes right now. You just did something uh, uh, pretty special for a couple of different labels as far as remixes. What are you working on, Geronimo? What you got uh, going on? Sure. Right now, I'm actually uh, working on a remix uh, for uh, Money Long. So, you know. Twin. Twin. Where have you been? <laughs> um, you know, uh, mix show coordinator, music director, uh, Hot 107.9, um, and a, uh, you know, uh, how, how can you say you know, a, a very hard music critic, hard to please. So, you know, I really take music serious because music is my life. And, you know, I, I love hearing great music and I get excited about it. Like mm -hmm. as if I just heard it for the first time, you know, like a, a, a kid, you know. And when I hear like beats that just make me feel like, you know, feel change it change my mood in that moment those are the ones i just really look for you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. whether if i just want to turn up and get and, and get rash if yeah. i want to you know what i'm saying be in my r&b i listen to every single genre you yeah. know what i'm saying and i always look for something that just stands out you know so that's what we're here for we're here at king of beats to try to see who can make that bring that feeling um a lot of game changers here in atlanta um and I, let me say you two guys like working with you guys and um i've known team lewis you know, for a long time, you know what I mean? You guys are two of the most technical yeah. DJs that I know. And that's the beautiful thing about Atlanta. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a DJ. I, I'm not, I never organized my crates. <laughs> Those of y'all that correct, collect records mm -hmm. and, you know, ever took, took crates to clubs before, you know what I mean? Same thing in, in Maserato. I'm not as that organized and I really don't play out of crates, you know what I mean? But just kind of played by the way that I feel. But you two guys deal. are technical Studio guys, you know what I mean. Like both of you guys have studios. I'm talking about A1 Studios. Where did you get that from? Like, what what's your pedigree? Are are you a musician? Yeah, I grew up playing drums. Yeah, yeah that was my that's that was my love. Yeah, tapping on stuff. Look, I'm over here trying to stop tapping on the table right now. Yeah. But just it was it was like tapping on stuff, and then like my love for playing playing drums also made me eager to understand how it all worked, how all the sounds matched in, and I mean, to be honest, I paid attention in music class, but a lot of stuff is really still taught, man. I sat down and I really paid attention. And like I said, I know more importantly, I think the gift that I got from God, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I know what I wanted to sound like. Right. I, that's the thing. A lot of people don't have direction in what they wanted to sound like. Mm. They just go and be like, oh, well, I think it's supposed to sound like this. Nah, you, it's about, I think the biggest thing that I've learned in production and just Kept like owning your own sound, right? And that's the thing that I try to tell a lot of producers now, like, bro, like if that's how you want it to sound, right? You got to stand in that sound, bro. Mm. You got to own it. To see you and you've been around the world with Lil Wayne, you've done stuff around the world with Drake and, and OVO on tour with live bands. When it comes to the live DJ slash producer on stage with rap shows, it's been watered down so much with yeah. my cousin, my manager, uh, you know, the, the big homie. And I don't know if it was instant replays that changed that. And then you got Serato and you got laptops, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. to see you as a performance DJ, you're using Ableton up there. You're using a special controller that Akai made for you. know what I mean? Like you were really like producing on the fly, like really putting together a show like you are cultivating and curating Lil Wayne's concert if they've ever seen you if you go to YouTube and they want to watch your shows and, and see you up there not just the energy but actually see what you're doing and it's not like you're just running down a set list just dropping records or slamming records I knew like first of all my love for the music mm -hmm. is that and to be able to 
dissect it and break it down the way that we do for our shows because yeah. we perform off of stems. Right, right. So, you know, for me to go in and be able to say, well, this show, I got a drummer, so I could take the snare drum out and I could let him play that part. Mm. And we could go in and we could do this. It's just endless capabilities, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, why not? That's why, you know, uh, one of the things that I do that really impacts my production and makes people sit back and pay attention is, you know, the famous, at the end of a milli, I make the beat over uh, him rapping freestyle. Yeah. And that, a lot of people to this day don't get it. But it's like technical people, they get it. They're like, bro, are you up there playing a the beat while bro's doing this? I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm remaking the beat. You know what I'm saying? That's how we end the show. So I think when you have all of those elements, bro, and you could go in and you can as some people are good at doing, like you were just talking about with Geronimo, like the remixes and stuff like that, I think that's what helps you, like, hone in on your sound, too, you know? Agreed. And that was one of the things that, like I said, would help with my production style, bro, honestly, is the yeah. fact that, you know, knowing what I love to hear and redoing it. Like, I like not to be long-winded, but even when it comes to doing, like, Wayne shows, mm -hmm. I really dissect his music, like, I know every horn part. I know every drum part. Right. And then I know what I can take out and what yeah. I can go without and what we can also add back in. I add synths on top of this stuff. Mm. Like, I'm a very big, like, bass synth person. Okay. Uh, like, just synths and all. I love that sound, too, man. Yeah, I'm order I, I got a Juno, uh, a Juno X on the I'm way right now. Man. But I want the analog you sound. You want the man, analog. You the want the gray one yeah. with, the, with the orange buttons with on the it. the orange buttons on yeah. it. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, the stuff like that is what is what I think is a part of building the sound. For sure. And yeah, when, yeah. you know, when you go to live shows, I think mm. a live show is a part, the production of a live show yeah. is what makes it all. Oh, Absolutely. Geronimo, let me ask you, man. You're putting a lot of time with you and actually spending with you and doing different different um, you know, events and parties with you. And we talk about music all the time. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, you shoot me something late at night, just like Teen Lewis. You know, it's just the in our <laughs> DNA. Like, yo, I'm working on this remix, man. What do you think about this? Like, what do you you think I need an original sample? You think I need to replay it? You know what I mean? Like, how do you actually get into to to producing and remixing? Oh, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna tell you even a deeper story. My Parents told me that when I was a child, the only way I can go to sleep is if the music was turned up loud. Hmm. And if they turn the music off, I will wake up and cry, and they turn it back on, and I'll go back to sleep. Wow. So I was already <laughs> in like adapted to music I even. Same story, bro. I, same <laughs> I was adapted story, to music bro. even as a young child. So um, it's like for me growing up, I grew up in the Dallas Austin era. I was at Dark Studios right. as a kid. You know, uh, Alvin uh, Recipes, Alvin, uh, Alvin Spites was a uh, was the engineer that I learned from mm. at seven, eight years old, and just you know, just being around music for for so many years. Carlos and Dada, many producers that you know really you know, part of the Atlanta culture, the LaFace, mm -hmm. you know, culture um, that I come from. By 16, 17, I had the Proteus 2000, I had the the, the Phantom, mm -hmm. I had the Motif, I had all the analog sounds and the MPC 3000, which just so happened to be, I had bought from a, a used... Uh, uh, a used store, like a like a used um like uh, a refurb. A uh, refurb. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was actually and I should have kept it. It was Don Cannon's actual drum machine because his oh, wow. had his name on it. Oh, oh, I should have never man. gave that up. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But, I would have kept that and made But see back me. then it was just, this is before <laughs> Don Cannon was really Don Cannon. This yeah. was like two thousand and three. Yeah. This is the beginning era. This yeah. is right when he was going to go. Saying? So he done upgraded, yeah. got the 4,000, and yeah. then and traded in his 3,000, but he had his name on it. I, mm. I, if I had known better, yeah. what I know now, I'd have kept it. You know, obviously, DJs make the best producers. Social media hits up. Like, shout out to Don Cannon. He's been doing his thing, and they've been he's been producing these videos, this content pieces with mm -hmm. he's on his original uh, ASR 10 mm -hmm. and doing mm -hmm. them. Guys like Easy Mo B that are using an SB 1200. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, uh, you know, very crafty and showing their creativity and loading up a hard disk, you know what I mean, with all the sound. And loading up on the slides. Manny Fresh has been doing the same things. You know what I mean? Like he'll use, mm -hmm. you know, twenty five different tones of a of a snare on the same slide. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it it's inspiring when you see those kinds of things. And then we're able to do this this contest. Now I you know give you a history lesson real quick. I came from Memphis if you don't know, and I actually did this contest for twelve years in Memphis. Mm. Um, doing it in Atlanta, I think is special. I think it's something you know to, for us to get back. 
um, you know, to the roots. The producer is kind of the unsung hero. And the producers these days, you know what I'm saying? They're the heroes behind the scenes. Definitely. A lot of these guys are making their own albums from, you know, Khaled to uh, Metro Boom and, uh, to, you know, the long list of producers when it comes to hip-hop producers. So this is an opportunity for us, you know, to get our feet wet at this and, and it's exposure for these producers. And then we're going to actually do a beat battle. It's going to have a panel early on. So this is an opportunity. It's a free event. People can come, get that game, network, and do that. But, you know, connecting the dots with some of our DJ and, and producer friends and coworkers and and we wanted to, you know, Team Lewis, play you several of these beats mm -hmm. um, that are in the final 16 right now. You can go to hotspotatl.com, and you can actually vote the top eight, one against seven, two against six. You know, and we're going to narrow it down to a top two, and the winner's going to going to win big. You know what I mean? It's a great opportunity. I so, can't wait. Yeah, so it's going to be a great going to be a great look. We're announcing the um, the location this week, but we wish everybody could be a part of the battle. You know what I mean? We still got people. Every time we talk about it or the promo plays, people still trying to send beats in. It's like you missed the deadline. You know what I mean? So, we're coming back. Okay. All right. I like the sound of yeah. on top. Listening to it, that little snippet right there, I ain't like the direction that the 808 went in afterwards, but I do like the direction of the overall beat. Yeah. I think the 808 could have went a little bit more in uh, key a little bit better, but other, overall, I, I yeah. like I like where he was going. Nice little trap beat. The thing is, the sound itself, as long as you tweak it and make it your own, I that's think right. that's what makes you, give you your own identity. T. Lou, who are your favorite top three? My All top time. three producers. Living, living no order. Here, here, no, no order. Yeah. No order. Yeah. Pharrell, Timberland, uh, Kanye. I'm going to say Pharrell, Timberland. I've always said Pharrell and Timberland. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I'm going to throw a curveball. I'm going to say B. Cox. Besides, yeah. besides B. Cox, who are your top three Atlanta producers all time? I'm going to have to go with Mike Will for sure. All right, he's going to be he's going to be up there. Metro, all right. Metro just got this. He's just <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just hard. He's bro. just brilliant, bro. Yeah. Like, he's just he's just, hard, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like when I heard Diamond Dancing, I was like, oh my god. Yes, bro. Metro just you know, got a sound, bro. You uh, just know he get it, bro. I got to be careful. My third one. Uh, <laughs> With I, my yeah, Atlanta yeah. producers, right? I because I, I got because I got Toomp in my top. Three. Oh yeah, man! I got Toomp in my top three. Toomp is up. Toomp was one of my favorite Toomp, producers Toomp. growing up. The Toomp sound that Toomp used to that Toomp used to come with with yeah. the horns, and then like just and speaking of horns, uh, 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 let's go. Um, I, I love Zay. Right, I, I love Zay. Zay, big bro. I love Zay, but we gotta give it to Shot Red. Red is up there, but I'm gonna go. Actually, my third. I'm gonna go with Zay Toomp. Zay, you know why? Let me tell you why. Zaytoven to me, like he really brought trap to a different neck, the next level of mm. life. When you hear a Zaytoven beat, without him putting his drop on it, he has his own identity. Yeah, I know what Zaytoven from. Right? And but I'm gonna tell you what did. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what did it for me though. I know. I know. But he rep Atlanta. Nah, he from right. here. We're we're here. The family time. Look, look, B Cox is from Texas, but he. He's it's like that. It's we, like yeah, that. Yeah. He's adopted here, okay? I'm I got a, you. Look, I'm, I'm adopted here. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason yeah. I say they told him too, what, what open, like really open, kind of like to see uh, a producer go outside their lane mm. and do something different than what everybody know them to do. So I'm going to, I got to put drama in my top three. You know what I mean? Even though he, he's, he's a Memphis guy. I you mean, know what look, I mean? Look, 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 hey, look, look, I was going to say that too, but gotta, but I, I want drama in mine too yeah. because drama, drama boy hard, bro. I'm going to put, I'm going to have to put Sonny Digital in there. You Sonny know hard. Sonny is my and guy. Then, and then I'm going to put, uh, oof, man, that's rough. Man. Everybody name a different three. Come on. But uh, all right, I'll give you one and I got to put him in there. Just number one, because he's got so many hits. Come on. And he's a hometown guy, but he's an ATL, ATL guy too, man. Jazzy Faye. Of course. You know I was waiting on somebody to say Jazzy yeah, Faye. Yeah, yeah. Jazzy definitely I gets my respect. One, I want to throw a name in the hat that, 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 that I don't hear it get mentioned enough. Who's that? Spins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. My cousin. Spins. Spins <laughs> is one of the, yeah. is is by far, I would like to say if Spins was still on, if, if Spins was active, yeah. Spins would be giving like Metro a run for the money right now. Mm-hmm. Everybody 808 is spins. Also, yeah. uh, look, we also got to give a shout out to Plug. Okay. Plug, right. Plug, because Plug made a Plug, 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 John. Plug made a sound. Right. Plug made a sound on the production side of things where hey. you got a Plug 808. Hey, and, and look, Lil John did too. Yeah, of course. We he, could go forever. Yeah, so, so we can go with organized noise. So listen, oh, wow. Ooh. We can we could keep this conversation <laughs> going, but this is the kind of conversation I'm talking about. We're going to keep it going. For the King of Beats on the 25th, Ting Lewis, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. We appreciate you, man. We love you. You know what I'm saying? Put your social media out there so I can follow you. Man, at DJ T. Lewis on our social media, man. 
And at DJ Geronimo, turn up God, you know. All right. Hit me up at Devin underscore Steel, S T E E L. Get the hotspotatl.com. Make sure that you check out um, our top 16 right now. We're going to narrow it down next week to the top eight. And I get ready for that beat battle. We got more producers coming next week, more DJs coming next week. We appreciate your insight. Man, appreciate you know you. what I'm saying? And uh, and uh, man, keep making keep making them hard beats. Oh yeah, it's going down. I might have some special for you. There y'all. you go. All right.